Hi everyone, I'm Tammy from Cabana State of Mind and today I'm sharing my review of our new Combo 2-in-1 Washer Dryer. There's a lot of conflicting information out there on these kind of units, both bad and good, and I did a ton of research before buying ours. So I'm gonna share some of the pros, some of the cons, and then my opinion after using this for a couple weeks. The washer dryer we got is the Medea. LG also makes one that's really popular, but this one was a couple hundred dollars less, so we decided to go with it. And from what I can tell, it's pretty comparable. So the main pro of this thing is that it's small. You can see it fits right under the tankless, tankless uh, water heater that was in the house when we moved in. And it just is even smaller than like a normal washer and obviously takes up half the space because it's two in one. Uh, it uses a normal electric plug, which is awesome. It doesn't take the big um, giant plug that a normal washer or dryer has to have. So we didn't need to have an electrician come in and set up some special wiring. And then also you can see it just has normal hot and cold water connections and a um, drain pipe and there's no t uh, vent, it's ventless. So you don't have to cut a hole in your wall to vent this thing to the outside like you would with a normal dryer. It is very quiet. That wasn't really you know, a big concern for us, but I have heard a couple people ask about the noise level, so it's nice and quiet. And then the biggest pro by far is that it's a thousand times better than lugging your clothes back and forth to the laundromat. That for us was the biggest reason for looking into one of these things. The biggest con, hands down, is that this thing is small. Uh, you can see Rick's coming to check it out. <laughs> it is two cubic feet, which I'd say is about, you know, maybe half the size of a standard washer. So it can do about five towels in a load or you know maybe three or four men's dress shirts and a couple pairs of pants. Basically half of a normal size load is what's gonna fit in here. And then the other big downside is that it takes a while. The wash cycle, and you can see it has a ton of different cycles here. The normal wash cycle is 42 minutes, which isn't too bad, but then the dry cycle, um, if you're on the normal dry cycle, it's three hours and 50 minutes. And you can change that a little bit so it comes down um, on the light dry cycle, which is what I normally use. But still, three hours is a long time. Now, it will stop drying early if the clothes inside are dry, which is nice. So usually it's right around like two and a half, three hours for a full wash and dry cycle for me. But you know, this is not gonna be the thing to use if you're in a hurry. And then the other big downside, to me the most annoying thing, is that once you've started the dry cycle, you cannot open the door and take clothes out. It locks. So if you have like something that you don't wanna shrink or you only wanna dry it halfway, um, you can't unless you actually physically unplug the machine and wait for it to cool off so the the door can open. To me, that's like the weirdest feature and um, my biggest complaint with it. Oh, and one other thing I should mention is that you see a lot of reviews out there that say it doesn't fully get the clothes all the way dry. That is not really true, I have found. It's more like uh, the clothes have steam in them when you pull them out, kind of like when you come out of a steam room and your face is like a little damp, but two seconds later it evaporates and you're all dry. It's the same way. They feel damp to the touch, but like you take them out, shake out the clothes, and I just throw them on the bed um, before I put them away, and they are dry like 30 seconds later. So to me, that's a non-issue. It's kind of, people are being like way blowing that issue out of proportion. For me, I give it a thumbs up. I'm really happy with the purchase and I would buy it again. So if you have questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. You can also check out the blog post on this same topic with a little bit more information in the video notes. Um, and I will also link the exact unit that we have so you can see which one we bought and check out some of the um, similar comparable options as well. Thanks for watching.